All right, guys, I'm going to talk a little controversy right here. I'm going to talk about what I view as a myth in grappling. And other coaches can either verify or deny this. But in my opinion, this age-old saying that wrestlers make great jujitsu competitors and fighters is utter bullshit, okay? In my opinion, wrestlers make some of the worst grapplers I've ever seen. Not at the highest level. If you go from wrestling and you stick through jujitsu and you do the eight, 10 years and you become elite, you are possessing a skill that not everyone has. But I'm talking about the 99% of the rest of the wrestlers, the ones that come in and try jujitsu and then they quit because their egos can't take it. Wrestlers are the worst conversions to jujitsu because they're so used to being dominant, especially good wrestlers. I've seen so many good wrestlers become terrible MMA fighters and terrible jujitsu practitioners because they can't get out of their comfort zone. They can't stop doing what got them to be an elite wrestler. The best wrestlers to make the transition are terrible wrestlers. By that, I mean the JV guy, the guy who was never the captain of the wrestling team, never became a high-level college wrestler. He was an okay wrestler in high school. He was tough. He was a shitty wrestler in college. He got the shit kicked out of him for years. Maybe he was a funk player. Those guys can go on to become great jiu-jitsu guys. But you don't see many Division I All-Americans, high-level wrestlers transition well to jiu-jitsu. Even more so in MMA now, in my opinion.